This video will cover the topic, Evaluating Expressions Involving Sine and Cosine. This topic will require a knowledge of trigonometric functions and special angles. If you are unfamiliar with these properties, please take the time to review them because they will continue to appear in more challenging topics. We also need to remember that in standard position, a rotation counterclockwise gives a positive angle and a rotation clockwise gives a negative angle. When finding sine and cosine values of a negative angle, we can use the positive coterminal angle. What is the coterminal angle? Let's say that this negative angle is negative pi thirds. Its coterminal angle would be positive 5 pi thirds. They are called coterminal angles because negative pi thirds and positive 5 pi thirds share the same terminal side. Let's try a couple example problems. If theta equals 4 pi thirds, let's find the exact values of 2 cosine theta, cosine squared theta, and cosine theta over 2. Looking at the first expression, we substitute 4 pi thirds in for theta. Cosine of 4 pi thirds is negative 1 half, and 2 times negative 1 half equals negative 1. Next, we'll substitute 4 pi thirds into the second expression. Once again, cosine of 4 pi thirds is negative 1 half, and this time we square negative 1 half to result in an answer of 1 fourth. Finally, we substitute 4 pi thirds in for theta in the third expression. We must first divide 4 pi thirds by 2, which results in 2 pi thirds. Using our knowledge of common trigonometric angles, we know that the cosine of 2 pi thirds is negative 1 half. I think that makes sense. Can we do an example using sine? Definitely. Let's say that theta equals pi sixths, and we want to find the exact values of sine 2 theta, sine squared theta, and sine negative theta. We can substitute pi sixths in for theta in each expression. Looking at the first expression, 2 times pi sixths equals pi thirds. And I know the sine of pi thirds is square root of 3 over 2. That's right. Let's move on to the second expression. The sine of pi sixths is 1 half. So our final answer will be 1 half squared, which is 1 fourth. Finally, let's look at the third expression. Here we have the sine of negative pi sixths. Since this is a negative angle, we can rewrite this using the positive coterminal angle, right? That's right, and the coterminal angle of negative pi 6 is 11 pi 6. The sine of 11 pi 6 is negative 1 half, and this is our final answer. Okay, so when evaluating expressions involving sine and cosine, we need to have a firm understanding of trigonometric functions and special angles. Also, when finding sine and cosine values of a negative angle, we can use the positive coterminal angle to evaluate the expression. That's exactly right. Great work.